Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's Pro CR here, back with another Clash Rail video. Today, we're going to be playing some Queen Bow in a classic challenge. So yeah, it's not going to be 3.0 Expo today. The Queen Bow is actually very good in the meta right now. Uh, I got a huge buff. It now gets an extra hit while it's invincible. So yeah, I think that makes it viable to play in this meta. Possibly even better than 3.0 Expo. But see, look at this ability. Oh my goodness, it just melted like seven elixir right there with its single ability. It's so good. I, I'm telling you guys, like, all the best players are going to be finishing with this deck. All the best expo players, at least. Um, me, though, mine is level 13. It's very hard to get it when you, like, don't spend money on the champions. It's nearly impossible, actually. So, um,. Yeah, he pumped in the bag, so I'm just going to cycle and then fireball it. Uh, anytime I see a pump on the board, I'm just going to fireball it. Not really worth the dealing with. Um, yeah, but he does go with the Little Prince. I'm probably just going to Knight to match it. Once this walks up a little bit. He goes Skeleton, so it looks like he might go in here. Okay, yeah, he pops an ability. Bad ability, honestly. I could just easily counter that with a night log right there he goes giant skeleton so i'm just gonna go I, i'm gonna go like expo opposite because yeah um pretty aggressive play by him but yeah we do get a lock that gives some dual lane pressure which is good I'm just gonna knight to hopefully defend both of these nice and whenever you place a knight guys you want to place it on the like supporting troop you want to kill it first so it can't support the big guy anymore um archer queen just to clean it all up maybe pop the ability here okay wait i think he gave up yeah he definitely gave up yo i'm telling you guys this <laughs> this deck is so good man i've seen s clean uh, well i cannot talk today i've seen sk and aragon play it and uh they're really good at it um yeah, me personally, I've never played Queen Bow, but I'm definitely going to try to practice with it to get better and hopefully level up my Archer Queen. If you guys have your Archer Queen leveled up, I strongly recommend you guys to play this deck. It's very good. But yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next match. Alright guys, we're in here in our second match against my boy Joseph. Just kidding, he's not my boy. I have no clue who this guy is, but... uh. Anyways, he goes Musketeer in the back. I'm just going to match it with an Archer Queen. Might as well. If it walks up, I'll pop my ability on it. I think that full counters, or at least it should. But, uh, I don't know. He has Princess, so right now it's looking like some type of log bait deck. Or maybe a really weird, like, mid ladder Mega Knight deck. I don't know. Oh, he has Skeleton Army. Definitely looking like log bait. Mini Pekka, wait, this is this is weird. Also, most log bait players don't run skeleton army. I mean, I guess it works, but it's not really the best choice. Um Yeah, there's many alternatives that are better. Like I like Goblin Gang. But if he has both, that's just crazy. Um Yeah, that Ice Spirit was just to try to bait, but it gets damage either way. I'm just gonna go opposite because he went giant. <clears throat> he went giant in the back. Okay, that's an easy log right there. Although, I'm spending a lot on offense. I'm not going to spend any more because I, now i got to focus on my defense. But that, sh that should pretty much um take the whole tower right there. Yeah, pretty much does. And my expo will help on defense. So the reason I put the Archer Queen on the Princess first is, again, you want to take out the supporting troop first. And then finish it off with the giant. Um, I kind of let that giant go while I was on offense. Because I knew I could easily defend it with just that 6 elixir. The archer queen plus the ability. I mean, I didn't fully defend it. But my tower got like half its HP taken off. So I'm pretty confident I can defend for a minute straight. Speaking of defending, I don't even need to. Um, this guy gave up already. Let's go, guys. We made two people quit with this deck already. Jeez, man. You guys have to try this deck. 
Uh, it's it's so good. The ability takes a little getting used to, but you can do it. All right, guys. I'm in my last match here against. I don't even know. I'm not gonna try to pronounce that. But um, let's see. What's the move here? I'm just gonna split skeletons in the back. Since I'm running Evo Knight, I'm gonna try to cycle to my Knight more. Might as well. Gotta get that Evo cycle going, you know. Um. You see, with archers, I would just split it in the back, but this is kind of awkward. Like, kind of just have to archer queen. I don't really feel good about it, but I kind of have to. He pops, so I'm going to also pop my ability, hopefully kill his. Nice, I do. That's going to get some good ship if he doesn't defend it. Okay, he does, but I can easily just log that back. I'm just going to go expo here because he has archer queen out of hand. Nice, I predicted this cannon. Oh, he has piggies. Yeah, guys. Oh, my God. I absolutely despise this matchup. I actually... Oh, and I just whiffed a log, too. This is not looking good, guys. Um, This matchup is just so hard to play against. Like, piggies is super toxic. You pretty much need a Tesla to defend it. And Earthquake usually just kills that Tesla. Unless you place it in the anti-EQ spot. But, um... Horrible matchup. He doesn't have EQ and cycle, so I'm just going to try to go in. Hopefully get some damage or um, at least waste some of his elixir. Horrible cannon. I think it was just a cycle, but he could have played that cannon way differently. Um, He's going to get some chip damage on the left. I don't really care about that, though, because... Yeah, now my lanes are pretty split. That's fine. Just going to go Archer Queen behind this knight. Oh no, I thought I would be able to kill all the skeletons before I could multiply that quickly, but I guess not. The skeletons went absolutely bonkers on my um, my troops right there. He goes Archer Queen, I'm just going to Expo opposite. See what he has for this, I'm going to Knight, oh no. Should have seen that coming, uh, pretty fireball might have been fine there, but it's all good. Let's see, I wasted a lot of elixir on that side. I'm going to have to do a cheap defense here. Not that cheap, but it is what it is. It does take it out. That's good. He goes piggies. I'm going to go anti-EQ right here. Nice. He plays EQ. That's what I'm telling you. If you go anti-EQ, Tesla, and they go Tesla, you can punish them. Like, hopefully I can get a pretty good punish here. And he goes Archer Queen in the back. Horrible mistake. This guy's not good. This guy's like playing really badly against an easy matchup. Um, I feel like he should have cannoned like higher. Because I always predict his cannons with a knight. And then it just like dies immediately. And also he likes to play his cannons like right on top of my knight for some reason. Like I don't know why. That's really weird. Um, Let's see. I'm going to go expo here. Might as well. I don't really have any other moves, and I want to force stuff out. Um, in this matchup, I just like going in a lot. Obviously, opposite lane if you can, but uh, yeah, the more you go in, the less they can go on offense. So yeah, I'm just going to try keeping the pressure up. Hopefully, I can get a lock. Oh my god. He whiffed, guys. Yo, that was such a free matchup for him. That's so funny. Uh, he... Yeah, it went skeletons way too late. But let's go, guys. Tower's at 900. It's not over yet, but um, should be in a second, hopefully. He goes piggies again. I'm going to put anti-EQ piggies. Nice. My ability is going to absolutely destroy those. And he misses the tower with the EQ. W player. Average pigs player. Oh, my goodness. I'm just going to log here. Ice Spirit, do all that, possess. Um, I'm gonna fireball that, might as well. I have to cycle. I have to spell cycle. Looks like he's also gonna try to spell cycle me out for some reason. Um, definitely not gonna work because I heard. I don't know. Our spell cycle times are pretty similar, but he has like a thousand extra damage he has to cycle through. So, not very smart by him. I would have just like tried to go all in on one side. But uh one fireball and that should be game. Let's go guys. Three good wins with Queen Bow. Hope you guys enjoyed the video.